Remember, there's an integration step from battery materials to cells to packs where the OEM has tremendous amounts of accountability of how that's packaged and put together in the product and what are the safety standards and requirements and quality capability. And that's where Tesla excels. And maybe some of these other companies uh, don't excel as much. So LG is a good partner. And, and, you know, I would put all that other stuff to the side. Tesla knows how to make cells. Tesla knows how to construct packs, design packs that that don't have any you know issues like this. So yeah, this is, uh, if you're, so if you're the supplier in these situations, you look at a leader like Elon, you look at a company like Tesla and you see where they're going. You see what, you see the arc they created in the EV industry. And you see now that they're reinventing how people are going to be transported with robo taxis. So you want into robo taxi supply chain. Anybody else that's making a robo taxi is they're at, they're at much smaller volume phases. They're, they may be at a proof of concept phase. They may never enter into what you would call real high volume production. There isn't anything out there in high volume production today until you get to a Tesla model Y that can be built every 30 seconds. There's nothing like it. It's, it's an order. It's several orders of magnitude different. So if you're these suppliers and you're looking at Okay, Tesla created this arc in EV. They're not done in EV, by the way. There's definitely a, a, a stall in the growth of conventional manual driven cars. But then now that they've got this FSD deployment, they've got robo taxi deployment. <clears throat> and now they're, you know, they're ramping up on the data center side. They're, they're, they are creating the AI factory that's going to power their own factories and their own products, right? And so Dojo is going to go from eight to 10% of the training load to maybe, who knows, so Hans, you're following this. It could be 50% higher next year, could be double uh, next year. But now this, this purpose-built AI6 uh, system is complete inference system that can, at that point in time in 2026, 2027, we'll be going into humanoids, we'll be going into vehicles and robo-taxis. Uh, of all kinds, and of course, into the data center itself. 